All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Fallout Commander or FCOM, which is being made by user Mad God Sheogorath. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to call in and control your own personal army and it's glorious. Now, of course, we do already have the ability to call in reinforcements in the vanilla Fallout 4 game by using, for instance, the Minuteman flare gun or the synth relay grenade, but the problem is those are really meant to be temporary reinforcements and you have no actual command and control over them. With Fallout Commander, on the other hand, you call in these reinforcements and they stay with you through thick and thin until they're all dead and you need to call in additional reinforcements and you can control them by putting them in to separate squads and you can have up to three different squads to command and control and that is a lot of fun rolling around the wasteland with your own private army is pretty cool and thankfully easy to use. When you do install the mod, you'll get added a new item to the aid category, which is the command radio. And now you can either activate it from in here or do what I've done and add it to an action group because of course, anytime you call in reinforcements or decide to give an additional order, you have to go back into this radio. So you'll have to click and then you'll be brought into this menu here, which is our command interface. And now we have uh, three options here that are useful. The first being request forces, which of course will call in your reinforcements, give orders, which will, well, self-explanatory there, give orders. And then the last one here is reset. So it'll set everything back to it was before you did anything. And of course, cancel so we can leave this menu. And you'll notice the radio leaves our inventory and then goes back in there. So let's actually close the pit boy so we can use the uh, action group. There we go. So we don't have the pit boy, you know, taking up space back here. And let's actually start at the top and request ourselves some forces. So once you hit this, you'll be able to choose the faction. And what's interesting here is even if a faction hates you, or if in the case of my current game, you've killed off the railroad, you can still, in fact, call in their reinforcements. So a little bit not quite lore-friendly there, but, you know, if you're trying to play lore-friendly, just call in the factions that you like and that like you. But yes, you can call in any of the four factions. So, for instance, let's call in the Minutemen. Then once you click that, you'll be able to select which squad those reinforcements will go into. So you can choose either Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie. Let's put them into Alpha and then you can select the unit type. And this is just what equipment those soldiers will have when they come to you. And it's anything from the basic soldiers up to heavy, I think the heavy militiamen here actually show up with power armor. I haven't actually gone through all the unit types yet, but again, it's just the equipment and weapons that they'll have on them when they show up. And then of course, close air support if they have it available, which is always useful. But let's call ourselves in just some regular militiamen and they will be brought to us now. Here's the thing, they will be brought to you by the way that they normally are. So if we launched a flare into the air, we would call militiamen to us and they'd come from the nearest settlement. Now for militia, it's a little bit different now because they don't come from the nearest settlement, they come from the nearest waypoint in the world, so it doesn't have to be a necessarily a nearby settlement. And so they'll hopefully get here eventually because I don't think, I think we're too close to the sanctuary node for them to come from sanctuary, so they may be coming from the red rocket perhaps. Uh, but they'll make it here eventually and oh, nope, they're actually there they are, beautiful. They came from quite nearby, though they've, this. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Looks like they had a few pathing issues when they ran into another uh, person over there. But there we go. We brought in our lovely militiamen here, and these guys will fight alongside us. And that is pretty huh? awesome. As you can see, by just selecting the standard militiamen, we get four of them here. And we can command them in a couple of ways. Now, the first being, of course, going into the Give Orders menu. And we can select it for either all squads or or a specific squad. So let's just click Alpha Squadron here. And then we can tell them to regroup on us with a tight formation, a loose formation for them to hold their current position, secure the perimeter, which they'll just sort of run around in a perimeter around you and 
kill anything that needs killing, guard the location that they're currently at, which I'll be honest, I don't know entirely what this, the difference between hold position and guard location, but either way, and you got options, and relax while they'll just sort of stand around if they, you know, you're canceling an order from them, or to sneak, which is kind of, huh, yeah, you gotta tell them specifically to sneak, which could could raise some issues if you forget to do that while you're trying to do something fancy. And of course, if you don't need to give an order, you can cancel. Now that is one of the two ways to actually command these guys. The other is to go and talk to them. And when you talk to them, you'll get this menu here. And we got a couple of things here. I'll start down here because we can always trade with them like we can with any follower. We can also dismiss them to tell them to go away. But what's interesting is this command state up here because if you want, you can actually control them like you would a normal follower. But to do that, you have to turn on command state. And so if we click hey, that, channel. and then go and talk to this guy again, you'll see we get the standard follower menu. And if we talk to him now, Hello, it'll bring us back into, oh, oh, he moved away. There we go. If we talk to him now, it'll bring us back into this specific menu. Hello, but while he's in this one, we can tell him to go and like move over that way and do things just like we would any other companion that was following us. It's quite useful. But let's actually talk to him again and put him back into the other command state. So command state hey. off. There we go. And now if we talk to him again, we're back to this one. So it's just different ways of commanding them. It's just all what you personally want to do, how you like to control them. You have those options. And so we'll cancel that. And let's actually grab another squad and continue talking about something I kind of stopped. Because as I was saying, with the militiamen here, they came from the nearest location by that I've discovered. And it's the same thing with the railroad. The Brotherhood and the Institute, on the other hand, will do their normal thing. The Brotherhood of Steel will come in on a vertebrate. The Institute will teleport in. So if we go and grab the Brotherhood real quick, we'll put them into Bravo Squad, and we'll do a Star Paladin, which is just a really, really tough Paladin. The Paladins will give you several guys in power armor. The Star Paladin is just one really powerful power armor guy with a really big gun, which is just... It's just fun. So there we go. When you do that, it your other companions get told to hold position. So those guys are going into a hold defensive position formation, as you can see there, waiting for our additional reinforcements, which will show up via Vertibird at some point. Hopefully it doesn't crash somewhere. You all know how those Vertibirds fly. But yes, there we go. They are holding position here. Lovely. Very nice, guys. Very good. And, oh, there it is. I see it in the distance. Beautiful. So we do have them incoming. I'm going to back up a little bit because they, you know, jump out of the vertebrate and they smash on the ground. And it's, it just shakes the screen and it's kind of annoying. But, all right, here they come on in. And you'll remember, if you watch my regular series, I, uh, I also destroyed the Brotherhood. So, normally in the game, these guys would want to kill me because I'm, I'm an enemy of the Brotherhood. But because... There with this FCOM mod, oh, they're perfectly happy with me. So, boom, there's our Star Paladin. He kind of hurt my Minutemen guys, but there we go. Vertibird flies away, and we have our new player, who is in Bravo Squad, so will be controlled differently from these guys. So, for instance, if I go back to give orders and do Alpha Squad, I'll tell them to secure the perimeter. So what they're going to do is they're going to kind of go around the area a little bit and just kind of check out, see if there's anything that needs shooting. Though it looks like right now they're having some pathing issues. That one guy seems to be the only one moving. There they go. Took them a second. But they're going to check the perimeter. Now, this person here is still on their last order, which when they drop down or teleport, in the case of the Institute, they will be in the hold position order. So if you do want them to then follow you, you'd need to go into the give orders and to Bravo Squad and have them regroup in a tight formation. And this person, there we go, is now out of the hold position and is following me like a normal companion would, which is pretty fun. Now let's just go ahead, oh, no, did not mean to open the pit boy and just grab the third squad here. So request forces, we'll do the Institute and Charlie squad, and we'll do... <laughs> Let's bring in some scientists. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. And they've teleported in right behind me. Nice. Glad of you guys, you guys came and showed up. And here, 
here is where I want to talk about one last thing. Now, of course, we have each of our three squads now in different orders. These guys are holding position. This one is going to follow me in a tight formation. These guys have kind of walked away to form a perimeter to defend us. All good things. And again, at any time, we can bring up this menu and switch around their orders or do all squads give all of them the same order. Which is all fun because, well... It's just good to have that amount of additional control over your forces. But where FCOM gets a bit more interesting when I get is... Duty, oh, oh yes? Salisbury steak is mine. Good for you, Brotherhood Paladin. You know what? Um, you, you do that. But what's fun about these guys is once you call them in and they are following you, you can actually make them a settler of a settlement. So if I bring up the workshop mode, there we go. I can command this person to actually assign them to a thing here, which is, oh, no, 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 you're, you're, okay, let's grab you. And if I say go and assign them to a crop over here, they'll actually become a part of the settlement. So there we go, we've assigned them to that. And there we are, that person is now a new member of my settlement. And that is just awesome. So he's gonna go and do his thing there and now be a part of a Sanctuary, which is pretty cool. So it's a way of uh, potentially giving you the ability to decide exactly who you want in your settlement. Rather than just random people walking in off the streets, you can have a settlement full of Institute people or a settlement full of uh, Minutemen or a settlement full of Brotherhood of Steel or a settlement of any other kind you desire. Well, the only other one is a railroad, but it's quite cool. So not only does this give you an army to command, but also the ability to give settlers to your settlements. And that is pretty darn impressive. Now, what I'm going to do is let's uh, give orders to, uh, you know what, Alpha, regroup on me. Then, Bravo, you also regroup on me. And let's just go across the river and kill something. I don't know why I'm going to leave him here, because scientist. But yes, yeah, so we're going to go and kill that dog over there. So once these guys regroup on me, come on, fellas. Sometimes takes them a second for the pathing and etc. But there we go. Lovely. Now that scientist will stay there, as that was his last order given when he showed up. So, if we go and cross this river, these guys should, you know, fight any enemies that I do run across and protect me, because, well, that's their job, being a part of my army. And that, that is what we're wanting out of this. So, come on, guys. Kill him. Oh, God, where'd they go? Only one of them is here. You're not shooting him. All right. There we go, and he's dead. <laughs> Guess I just had to get a little bit closer for him. All right, let's go find someone else for them to kill. Radstag, get it! Or I could shoot it in one shot. Perhaps I shouldn't have shot it with such a powerful weapon. Oh, well, but yes, you saw that they killed the wild dog. <laughs> oh, there's usually some other guys over here for us to kill. Uh, that's why I ran in this direction. I probably could have also spawned in some people. But I didn't think that far ahead to actually set up a spawn. Uh, but yeah, that is the Fallout Commander mod. You can call in soldiers, organize them into squads, and then give them commands, and then, you know, roll around the wasteland with these guys in tow, killing all of the enemies, or, of course, adding them to your settlements if you want those specific types of settlers. Oh boy, I'm not finding anyone else for them to kill, so that's kind of a <laughs> uh, kill joy. But yes, that is uh, it for this mod then. Where are these guys? There they are. They're closely following behind-ish. But yeah, that is really it. It's a pretty fun mod, and if you guys would like to have a look at it for yourself, you can check the link in the description as always for the Nexus. And if you are on consoles, this is in fact on them right Right now, it is on Bethesda.net, so if you use that on PC, you're good to go. If you're on the Xbox One currently, and I'm assuming once the PS4 gets it added in, it'll be good to go on there as well. So no matter if you're on computers or consoles, you should be able to have fun with these fellas here. And that... That's just great. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this video today, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go try and find someone for these guys to kill, but I don't know if I'll have any luck. Later, folks!